Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I am bringing you this Disney Frozen Elsa inspired look. The new Frozen 2 movie is coming out very soon and I really wanted to get up a Elsa inspired look. We did her glam makeup as well as a body paint of her dress. So if you guys are curious on how I went from this to this, go ahead and just keep watching because we are about to get into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the voiceover of this look. I'm starting out with a fresh face, but to give my skin a little bit of a boost, I'm gonna go ahead and use a face mask. This one is by Pixie Beauty. I will have everything linked down below as always if you guys want further details, but I'm just going to have this on my face to give me some hydration and a little bit of a boost before we go ahead and apply the rest of the makeup. To further push this product into the skin, I'm going to use this little metal roller ball over top of the areas that I really want to get moisture in deep. I don't know if this is proven to work, but I feel like it does, so that's what I'm going ahead and doing. And once the face mask is done, I'm going to rub the residual moisture into my skin to get the full effect of the face mask. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows using my Brow Powder Duo in the shade Blonde, I believe, and just using the ABH number 12 brush to do this. Elsa has pretty thin brow so I'm trying to keep mine on the thinner side for this look. I'm then going ahead and brushing through them with the spoolie to really disperse that product and lighten up any dark bits of the brow. And with the power of editing, both brows are done. They're looking a little messy, so I'm going to take my Stay Naked Concealer by Urban Decay on a small, precise brush to clean up the underside of the brows and make them look a little bit more neat and put together. And I'm going to go ahead and take this a step further and clean up the top portion of the tail end of the brow to make them look even more sharp and defined as Elsa's brows are. So since this is an eyeshadow heavy look, I am going to start with the eyes first. I'm first going to prep them with a little bit of the ABH eye primer and just blend that out all around our eye area to be sure we have a nice base for the shadows to stick to and get their full pigmentation. If you don't have the ABH eye base, that's totally fine. You can use concealer as well to do this step. I'm trying to stay true to the makeup look that Elsa wears throughout the movie, so I'm using plenty of reference photos to do that. To create Elsa's look today, I'm using the brand new Mercury Retrograde Palette by Huda Beauty. Beauty. This is my first time using this palette and I can say it's absolutely amazing. I'm first picking up the shade Utopia, which is a warm soft brown, and I'm just blending that out into the crease. And to further blend it, I'm using the shade Momentum, which is the lightest shade in the palette to give us that really nice faded look. On a small precise blending brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Hot Mess, which is a cranberry toned shade to help us deepen up the crease and add a little bit more dimension to the look. And again, going back in with that shade Momentum, the lightest shade in the palette to be sure everything is really nice and softly blended out. Then I'm grabbing the shade Vortex, which is a deep brownie plum shade, which is the darkest shade in the palette, and adding this into the crease to further add that deepness and dimension. At this point, I was a little confused on where the look was going, so I decided to do the other eye off camera for some guidance to continue on this tutorial. Now that the other eye is done, I'm picking up my Stay Naked Concealer and creating a cut crease. I'm really taking my time on this step to be sure that all the lines are super crisp and clean and both eyes are as even as I can get them. I'm then grabbing the MAC Cosmetics Spellbinding Shadow in the shade Wishful Thinking from their holiday collection. Totally not sponsored, but you should check out the MAC holiday collection because the stuff they came out with is absolutely stunning. So basically what I'm doing with this shade is just creating a halo eye. We're packing it to the inner corner of the eye, the outer corner of the eye, and slowly merging those together, but leaving the center part mainly bare. I'm then grabbing the shade Supermoon from the Mercury Retrograde Palette and using my finger to pack this onto the eye. I find that fingers work best with the glitters in this palette because it just gives the full pigmentation. Side note, it's probably easier when your nails are a little shorter. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm then grabbing the NYX Glitter Primer as well as the ABH Glitter in the shade Frosted and adding that to the center of the lid to add a little bit more shimmer to the eye. And it has a little bit of more of a blue cast like Elsa has in the reference photos I saw. I'm then using the ABH liquid liner to draw a line along my lash line with no wing. This is just adding a little bit of definition to the eyelid and making it easier to hide our falsies that we will be adding later. 
I'm then using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to coat my lashes and get them ready for false ones. For lashes today, I'm using the new Anastasia False Lashes in the style So Hollywood and just going ahead and applying these to my lash line. I didn't want anything too crazy for this look as Elsa doesn't have super wild lashes, but they gave us the flair that I was looking for. Then using my absolute favorite primer, the Milk Hydro Grip. I was not a primer believer until I started using this one. It's absolutely great for filling in pores and creating a smooth base. I'm then using the new ABH Luminous Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff, especially for the winter months when my skin is becoming super dry and flaky. This stuff really hydrates me and brings my skin back to life. Being sure to bring it down my neck, of course, to be sure everything is well blended and we get the coverage that we're looking for. For concealer today, I'm using my Urban Decay Stay Naked as well as the ColourPop concealer in this white shade because I am literally so pale that I need to highlight with a white concealer now. The lovely perks of it being wintertime and there's no sun, so I'm just applying this onto the areas that I want to highlight and blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. To set our liquid products in place, I'm using the ABH Loose Setting Powder in the shade Vanilla. This is my absolute favorite powder. It literally leaves your skin looking super airbrushed. I highly recommend this setting powder if you are looking for a new one. Now we're going to be creating some faux freckles as Elsa has them in the movie. I'm taking this water activated face paint that I'm activating with some MAC Fix Plus and dipping into it with this textured sponge and just dabbing that over the center portion of my face, my nose, and my cheek area and then going over top of that with some more of our loose face powder to lighten them and make them look even more natural. To add even more freckles, I'm using this brow pen by MAC in the shade Fling and just lightly tapping over any areas that I feel needed a little bit more freckles. And again, going over this with some more of our loose powder to lighten them and blend them into the skin further. I'm then picking up the H&B Dare to be Different Oh So Snatched blush. This is Holly Boone's brand and I use these blushes every single day. They have an amazing formula and I'm just tapping this over the apples of my cheeks and my nose to give that really flushed look that Elsa has in the movie. So we're really gonna go overboard with the blush in this look and do not be afraid to be heavy handed with it. I'm then grabbing the MAC Studio Fix Contour Palette and I'm going to use this right under the cheekbone to make my cheeks look very defined and lifted like Elsa's are. And I'm also going to add this to my forehead to give the illusion of a smaller forehead like Elsa has. I mean, it's not going to give us plastic surgery, but we can try to give the illusion of that. And we're going to use this for a little bit of nose contour as well. So now we're going to finish off the lower lash line. I'm grabbing this white eye pencil from ColourPop and just drawing this in my waterline to give the illusion of larger eyes. Any sort of light cream or white eyeliner will give you this effect. Dipping into our Mercury Retrograde palette, once again, I'm picking up the shade Vortex, which is the deepest color in the palette on a flat shader brush, and I'm just drawing that underneath our white eyeliner that we placed in our waterline to further the illusion of big Disney princess eyes. And I'm going to blend that out further using the shade Utopia, which is that warm brown shade that we used in our crease earlier. I then went ahead and cut up some false lashes that I had laying around to create some bottom lashes for our false lash line. I'm placing these right underneath that white eyeliner we added to our waterline to further enhance the look of having large Disney princess eyes. I'm then going to highlight using the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. If you guys have been watching me or following me for a long time, you guys know this is my absolute favorite go-to highlighter. I'm just going to add this to my nose, my cheekbones, all those good areas. I'm then using this deep pink toned lip liner to line my lips and closely match the one that Elsa is wearing in the movie to the best of my ability. And I'm using this corresponding lip shade to go along with it by Wet n Wild. I'll have the shade name linked down below. And to finish off the lips, I'm adding the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk. Now that Elsa's makeup is done, it's time to add a dress. I did not want to purchase a dress, so I decided why not just paint one on myself instead. I'm using my Moon Creations Water Activated Face Paints. All shade names will be linked down below. I have my reference photo up on screen so you can see kind of the shape and colors we were going for. I started by drawing a line right underneath both of my shoulders and filled that in with the lightest blue face paint. Paint. And then with a deep teal blue face and body paint, I'm drawing in her sweetheart neckline that her dress has right underneath that light blue paint we laid down. I recommend leaving this portion open when you're filling in your dress with the initial lightest blue face paint shade so that the teal and the light blue don't mix and you get the wrong color for your dress. It just keeps things looking cleaner and more neat, so just a tip. 
I'm then grabbing my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel and I'm going to paint this over top of our deep teal portion of our dress to add that shimmery effect like it has in the movie. I was using this initially on a brush but it started to take away my face paint so I found that tapping it in with my finger worked a little bit better to boost up the pigmentation of this glitter and not take away the face paint that I had laid down underneath. Further jazz up the dress and add a little something extra, I'm taking these Wet n Wild Stick On Gemstones and just placing them randomly around the neckline of the dress. You could use any gemstones that you have, but I like these because you don't have to spend time adding glue to the backs of every single gem and it just worked a lot quicker for the effect that I was looking for. Since her dress does have long sleeves, I'm adding a sleeve to one of my hands with that lightest blue face paint that we used in the beginning to finish off the dress. Alright guys, so that is it for my Disney Elsa Frozen inspired look transformation. I really hope that you guys like how it turned out. I am super happy with it. If you guys have any other transformations you want me to do, definitely leave them down in the comments below and let me know if you like these type of videos because I will definitely do more of them for you. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to go and see Frozen 2 because I know for a fact my 23 year old self is definitely rolling up in that theater to watch that movie. The first one was so cute and I am so excited for the next one. Don't forget to follow me on my social media underscore mcdrew on twitter and at mcdrew on instagram so i can keep up and chat with you guys when i'm not here uploading don't forget to like and subscribe it helps out the channel so much and turn on those notifications so you are notified next time i upload i thank you so much for watching again and i will see you in the next video bye guys